Yep. Yeah, no, I'm leaving now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Mom, yeah, I love you too. Okay. Bye. 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 <sighs> hey. You'll be okay. I'll be with you every step of the way. Yeah, I know, man. It's just... Uh, I don't know how they're going to take it. Well, they sound lovely. I guarantee you they'll take it better than my parents did. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. You know what? Yep, I'm feeling sick. You're just nervous. Deep breaths. <sighs> yep, I feel car sick. You don't get car sick. We're not even moving. <laughs> well, I'm feeling pretty car sick. You're just letting your nerves get the better of you. If you still feel sick when we get there, I've got a bottle of water in the back. Oh, do you think I should have shaved first? Brody, you'll be fine. Trust me. I can do this. I can do this. I can. I can't do this. Hey, hey wait. Hey, wait. <sighs> I'm gonna be here the whole time. If it gets too stressful, you can hold my hand. What if I can't? You're gonna have to tell them eventually. It's better coming from you, trust me. Come on. Josh. Oh, it's lovely to finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, Mrs. Campbell. Oh, call me Cheryl. Don't catch cold. Go inside. How you going, son? Still job hunting? Yeah. Still at the news agents. Not too many jobs in design these days. Told you, you should have taken an apprenticeship. And you must be Josh. Heard a lot about you. Likewise, Mr. Campbell, it's a pleasure to finally meet the man in the flesh. Ha! Ah, <laughs> strong handshake on this one, Brody. That's the way, mate. Have a seat, you two. Dennis! Can I have a word with you, please? Of course, love. Dennis. I want you to promise me that you'll behave yourself. I think tonight's the night, and I don't want you to ruin this for Brody. It's all a little unnecessary, isn't it? I mean, we've known he's been that way since he was 12. Oh, we all knew, but I know what you are like. This is very important to him, so I want you to promise me that you will be supportive, no matter what. Oh, come on. Promise me, Dennis. Parents seem really nice. Yeah. Well, you didn't live with him for 17 years. Well, 
I hope you like the Campbell lasagna, Josh. It's Brody's grandmother's recipe. All right, boys, pass me your plates. So anyway, it turned out it was a flat tire and I stupidly drove all the way back home without realizing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry to change the subject, Mr. and Mrs. Campbell, but I, I think Brody has something he wants to tell you. Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, uh, I don't know how to say this properly. It, it's okay, Brody Bear. Take your time. Mum. Dad. I'm... I'm a werewolf. Oh, honey, that's, um... Did... Did you just say you're a werewolf? Um... That's... Quite... Rare these days. It's actually not as rare as you'd think, Mrs. Campbell. There's quite a large lycanthropy network out there. A werewolf. My son. The werewolf. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Well, it's a little unexpected. Mm. Yeah, well, I... Brody Bear. Brody dear, we will support you no matter what. It, it's just that we're a bit, um, surprised. Isn't that right, Dennis? That's right, son. We'll support you. Well, uh, yeah, I, I get it. It's not exactly what you were expecting. No, not a werewolf. <laughs> uh, Josh, uh, are you a... Well, uh, that's actually how we met. Um, I found Brody naked in the woods, covered in blood, and he was next to this dead pig. Josh! Can you not say that in front of my parents? So, how long is it? How long have you known that you've been a werewolf? Uh, a year, I think. <laughs> but I've always known, you know, deep inside. <laughs> well, he always did like playing outside more. I guess this explains a lot of things. The uh, claw marks in your bed. The howling. Well, the doctor did say that was just a nervous tick. Um, but I... Look, I mean, I get that this comes as a shock to you guys. Brody, we love you. No matter what kind of lifestyle choice you have. <laughs> Josh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Campbell. This is not a lifestyle choice. Josh, it's okay. This is who we are. I, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. You can't choose this lifestyle. Oi! What's your turn, young man? Don't you dare talk to my wife that way. Show some goddamn respect. You should show some respect to your son. Do you know we can't use silverware? Do you know how embarrassing it is to go to a restaurant and have to ask for plastic cover? Well, maybe if you weren't into this weird fetish shit, turning into a literal goddamn monster is not a fetish! Sorry, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Both of you stop! All I wanted was a nice family dinner. I haven't seen my son in months. This was very important to Brody, and both of you have just completely ruined the whole thing! I am very disappointed in both of you. Oh shit. What do you think you're doing? He'd really hurt you in this state. We have to leave him be. At least for now.
hell was that? What? With what? Oh, don't play games with me, Dennis. We both know that Brody had something big to tell us tonight. Now, just because it's not what we expected doesn't give you the right to blow up like that. Well, well what did you expect me to do, love? I mean... No! This is not... The way you acted was unacceptable. You need to apologise. Listen, love, I... Not to me. To him, to them, Josh and Brody. Well, go on. Why are we going after him? Brody's not in the right state of mind at the moment. If he were to hurt you, then he'd never forgive himself. Then why don't you go after him? I told Brody I was going to help him with all of this and I've just... I just made everything worse. Besides, if he were to hurt me, even if it was only an accident, this is all my fault. Josh, I'm sorry for the things I said tonight. I was out of line. I have no excuse. It's okay, Mr. Campbell. I was out of line as well. I was being selfish, and I couldn't help Brody when he really needed it. Well, he needs all the help he can get now. What say you? Should we go and get him? Let's go get him. Brody, where are you? This way, come on. Brody? Let me, Josh. I need to make this right. Hey, son. What do you want? I want to apologize. This is something that you struggled to tell your mum and I for a long time. And I shouldn't have acted the way I did towards you. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever understand it, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is that you know that your mum and I will support you and love you, no matter what. I don't, we don't want to lose you, Brody. Not for anything. Your mum didn't even make me say that bit. <sighs> what the hell happened to my bathroom?